no other machine comes even close to this Z-axis speed. How many of you ladies and gentlemen out there know about Synchro EDM? And if you do know about Synchro EDM, how much do you know about it? And if you do know a lot, how much do you know about the Sodic Synchro EDM? Well, stay tuned because I got Kaz. This guy knows his stuff. And this is the topic of discussion today with MTD. Kaz, let's talk Synchro EDM, all right? Just like we talked about with our core technologies, obviously for every single EDM product has it. So obviously Synchro has it, right? Uh, for our Synchro machines, the, the main one that I do want to talk about for, for X, Y, and Z as linear motors, right? Because Z axis is the most important uh, axis for the Synchro uh, EDM. We need to add that linear motors. We want to talk about Z axis speed uh, because we have linear motors. No other machine comes even close to this Z axis speed. We don't need flushing. It's flushless, right? You don't need to add flushing and get all that debris out. We control. Uh, and, and speed that Z-axis speed so much that that de debris flushes out like a, like a vacuum uh, outside for every single jump that you see there, it flushes out. So for the customers or potential customers right now that are watching us, Kaz, that are going, okay, well, that's cool. In a traditional style, it would be like flushing coolant to remove those chips, right? What are the benefits of not even need the flush other than the fact of this obvious speed that sounds like a woodpecker right now? So the reason why you know we wouldn't want flushing is because you know um, you can add flushing. Let me just start that. You can add flushing, but because we our speed is so fast, uh, we don't need to. The benefits for that is low electrode wear, right? We get out of that workpiece so quick, on top of the workpiece, away from that workpiece, so that it's gonna get less electrode wear. You're gonna get better surface finish because all that debris is out because of that vacuum effect, for example. And what does that mean? We get a better surface finish better speed uh, for that too. It really, so it is time, money, and quality as an overall situation that improves from being able to move this quick. And really? in the industry, and you are the guy, but in the industries that this typically goes in, finish and, and uh, precision are the ultimate goal of what this style of EDM does for your customers, it right? It really is, right? And for this model, for the AL machine, which is our highest grade sinker EDM, we have our SP. Uh, controller. What does that mean? We have different circuits for our roughing, our, for our semi finish, and for our finishing circuits. That's pretty impressive, my friend. Now, I got to bring up this question because you and I have discussed other operations, and I know that Sodic is a global company, company massively, but you've also expanded here in the U.S., not just with locations, even R&D centers, but the inventory side of things as well. Do you also hold and, and keep the service at that really high level for this style of EDM for your customers as well? If you're dealing with Sodic, you're going to get the best service, right? Whether that's application or service, right? Service uh, support, you're going to get that. We get the best, right? Service, uh, our sinker guy, Rick, he knows this stuff. If he doesn't know the answer to a question, trust me, no one in the industry will know the answer to a question. That's a, that's a powerful statement, but I always have to bring that up because we have a lot of service people out there that watch the videos, and we all like to take a little bit of credit and go, well, the sales guy sells the first one, service sells the rest, exactly. right? Exactly, you're totally right on that. And especially, like I mentioned before, but you know, we have linear motors. You're not gonna have, in three years, five years, a service headache from like a ball screw, right? I do wanna point that out on top of that again, 10-year positioning guarantee, I cannot stress that enough for our customers. You're not gonna get service headaches in the long run, right? Initial investment, we're around the same you know, price range as the competitors, but I'm talking about long-term, five to 10 years, you're gonna get a huge return on your investment, on your machine. So Kaz, we both obviously get very excited about technology as a whole, don't we? We both get real loud on the microphone, we wanna convey this to the audience. What are some of the key technologies that maybe we haven't even gone over when it comes to this style of EDM? We put all the key technologies in this highest grade AL machine, right? Starting from the three-sided tank, uh, to the you know ceramic on the slider. You got the THCOM, which is the thermal compensation. We're adjusting the linear motors depending on what temperature, what environment it is. On top of that, not only the temperature of the machine, because the Z-axis is, is moving so, mass, uh, so fast, that thermal dynamics, there's heat. It's gonna displace that Z-head position, our most important position. Basically, THCOM is compensating not only for your temperature, but also for the Z-axis speed, which is phenomenal, I think. And ATC. 
every ATC possible for SODIC option is available for our AL. From our shuttle, for our rotor, our large electrode ATC is available on this machine. Well, there you have it, folks. This is my buddy Kaz. This is faster, it's cleaner, it's more precise, no flushing, uh, no friction. ATC, I mean, are you kidding me? It seems to have all the bells and whistles. So if you're in the world of this style of machining, give my buddy Kaz a call, give Sodic a call, go to the website, learn a bit more. But I hope you've learned as much as I have today. And thank you all for watching again. Kaz, thank you, you are incredible. Thank you very much, Tony.